गुडनेस इज द ओनली इन्वेस्टमेंट दैट नेवर फील्स नमस्कार वेलकम टू नेक्स्ट आई एस आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर मेजर हेडलाइंस ऑफ द हिंदू इंडियन एक्सप्रेस एंड प्रेस इन्फॉर्मेशन ब्यूरो सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम Let's start today's discussion. Now, recently, Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare approved the introduction of the novel treatment for multi-drug resistant tuberculosis under its National TB Elimination Program. It consists four drug combination, which includes bedaquiline, pretomenid, linide zoloid, and moxifloxacin. It will bring down treatment time to around six months from the earlier duration of 18 to 24 months. It has been proven to be safe and more effective. And do you know, friends, the National Tuberculosis Elimination Program aims to study Particularly reduced TB burden in India by 2025, which is five years ahead of the Sustainable Development Goals. It is a multi-pronged approach that aims to detect all TB patients with an emphasis on reaching TB patients seeking care from private providers and undiagnosed TB in high-risk populations. Now, recently, thousands of people gathered in Kerala to see the traditional Atham pageantry, which marked the beginning of Onam celebrations. Onam is an annual Hindu festival which origins in state of Kerala in India. It falls in the Malayalam. Alam calendar month of Chingam, which in Gregorian calendar overlaps with August September. It commemorates the Vamana Avatar of Vishnu. It is a harvest festival and one of the three major annual Hindu celebrations along with Vishu and through Vathira. Now, recently, Supreme Court held that judicial appointments to constitutional courts are not the Chief Justice's prerogative and must be consultative. The ruling came from a petition regarding elevation of two senior judicial officers to the Himachal Pradesh High Court. Here, Chief Justice of High Court individually addressed the Supreme Court. Court's collegium without consulting his High Court collegium colleagues. The Supreme Court ruling highlighted the importance of collegium system, which has been effective since 1993, and it was established through three judgments known as three judge cases. Here, in first judge's case, it has been highlighted that consultation with the CGI must be full and effective. Second judge's case introduced the collegium system, which required CGI to consult the collegium of two senior most apex court judges. And third judge case expanded the collegium to include CGI and four senior most judges. The system is designed to ensure judicial. Primacy over the government to maintain independence, and to you know, friends, President of India appoints the CGI and Supreme Court judges under Article 124, Sub Clause 2 of the Constitution. The senior most judge considered fit is appointed as CGI. Now, recently, fifth defense cooperation dialogue between India and Maldives took place in New Delhi. Two sides deliberated on few other areas of common interest, and such as high-level exchanges and capability development projects. Maldives is one of India's key maritime neighbors in Indian Ocean region, and overall bilateral ties, including areas of defense and security. Witnessed an upward trajectory under the previous government in Maldives. Now, External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar highlighted the significance of the India-Middle East-Europe Economic Corridor, which will comprise of two separate corridors. And her first is East Corridor, connecting India to the Gulf, and next is Northern Corridor, connecting Gulf to Europe. It can add to India's maritime security and faster movement of goods between Europe and Asia. It was announced during the G20 summit last year. Now, recently, Taliban Supreme Leader has mandated enactment of Afghanistan's morality law, codifying. Restrictions on women and other groups. According to this law, women must veil their entire bodies in public. Women voices are considered intimate and should not be heard singing, reciting, or reading aloud in public or at home. Music and mixing of unrelated men and women are banned. Even looking at non-relatives is prohibited. Other provisions include sanctions against LGBTQ people and religious minorities. Taliban have previously used threats, arbitrary arrest, and force to enforce such policies. This new code introduces more repressive measures and grants Taliban morality in. Inspectors extensive authority to detain and punish individuals. In this context, UN experts describe the measures as gender apartheid and compare them to the previous Taliban regime. Human Rights Watch and UN experts have criticized the new laws and highlighting the increasing repression and lack of moderation in Taliban's approach since regaining power. And you know, friends, Taliban were ousted by US-led forces in 2001, but returned to power after the US withdrawal. Taliban had promised rights and equality, but have since imposed severe restrictions. Including banning education for girls beyond class six and implementing harsh punishments. Now, recently, researchers have found correlation between light pollution at night and incidence of Alzheimer's disease, which is a common type of dementia. It is a progressive disease beginning with mild memory loss and possibly leading to loss of ability to carry on conversation and respond to the environment. It involves parts of the brain that control thought, memory, and language. Next article focuses on La Nina because leading global agencies were significantly inaccurate in their La Nina predictions for this year. El Nino and La Nina are 
are climate patterns in the Pacific Ocean that can affect weather worldwide. La Nina is characterized by usually cooled ocean temperature in the equatorial Pacific compared to El Nino, which is characterized by unusually warm ocean temperatures in equatorial Pacific. In India, El Nino is associated with suppressed rainfall during the monsoon season, while La Nina is known to help monsoon activity. Now, India has carried out successful launch of intermediate range ballistic missile Agni 4 from Odisha. Agni missiles are long range nuclear weapons capable surface to surface ballistic missiles developed by India. Next article talks about exercise Varun because recently Indian Navy participated in the 22nd edition of the India France bilateral exercise Varun in the Mediterranean Sea. It began in 2001 to strengthen India France relationship and has evolved significantly over the years towards exchanging best practices. So, with this, let's conclude our today's discussion. Thanks for listening and for regular updates, you can follow us on various social media platforms. Oh, 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 oh,